dreamers. You know about the infestation, right? Spreads like a month-old salad with genocidal intent. Swallows everything it touches, making monsters from meat or metal or both. Well, these days it's mostly contained. Spores as old as stone, derelicts drifting in forgotten orbits. So it was with old Kanga, somehow exposed and promptly cast out. Woke up on a blessed cage drop down to Eris. But should some sad soul catch the gray vein? Well, every culture has its plague dogma. But maybe there's something more to this infestation, something we all missed. Turns out, Kanga didn't find void in that hell nest, no. He found a survivor. Little boy, Arlo, died three years ago. Yet there he was, lost his voice, but gained his life, and somehow saved old Kanga with the slightest touch of his slender hand. My mother was a cynical woman, smart as she was cruel. Nora, she said, no disease spreads faster or further than the ones in our head. She was talking about ideas. Mine was that old Kanga and his wonder boy would have been splayed out in some bio trader's lab by now, or blood studies for the Grenier Command. Dreamers, I was wrong. Kanga's gray vein was just the beginning. White lung, parasitic liver, clone rot, even bone spurs. Turns out this kid, Arlo, is a healer. So many questions. An idea like that is like a flare dropped in Volgas. Next, and who speaks for Arlo the mute? Why, old Kanga, of course. No more the outcast. It is he who is spreading the word of Arlo's gift. Even you, dreamers, may soon hear it. Whether you're bad news first or bad news last, Tonight, I got you covered, cause bad news is all we got. This emissary's word is spreading fast, a hot fever. Some are going to extremes to prove their devotion, trying the spores for themselves, and they're finding it too. Some lunatic spikers jacked the solar nav and flagged the derelict zones for all to see. Old haulers and new hopefuls out there are proving just how smart most people aren't. Yet Kanga's ranks are growing, arming themselves for the safety and security of our emissary, setting the stage for a great assembly to come. Buzz is, Buzz is, Arlo will break his silence. Till then, dreamers, check under the bed. A fresh brood is sprouting up along the rails. And it seems they have the scent of those blessed by the emissary's touch. Y'all did see this coming, right, dreamers? 
surely did, but not like this. A grand gathering before the emissary and his speaker. Standing room only. Bodies pressed to bodies. A great overheated mass breathing as one. Waiting for their beloved healer mute to speak. Kanga hushed the crowd, laughing at them. Sick as the day he was banished, more. His retribution was at hand, born of a virus spreading further and faster than Spore and space ever could have. Arlo. And in that stunned silence, Arlo himself made a sound. Not a word, but a stifled gag. A swollen choke as he opened his mouth. And there it was, pointed, black, a tongue, but not, snaking and bulging and splitting him apart. I looked away then, I had to, but that sound stays with me, not the sound of human terror, bad as it was, but what came after. The grinding wet, the rattling flutter, the congregation converted in the truest sense. I... Dreamers, you all got your work cut out for you. Though this movement has lost its head, the body still lingers. It's a bad cycle, dreamers. Arlo's devoted had a party and you're on cleanup detail. Derelicts are threatening every settlement from Mercury to Eris. And my sources say you're uniquely qualified to contain them. Meanwhile, I've been thinking, not about Kanga, but about what he actually found down there. Arlo, whatever he was, some kind of lure, an evolution to bait us in? Is there more to this infestation than fangs and acid? I know what my mother would say. The people saw what they wanted, heard what they hoped, and human nature did the rest. Still, I'm hearing rumors. The mass on Eris is in turmoil, and nobody, but nobody wants to check it out. It's seething. And if it's not thinking about this whole ordeal, baby, it's dreamers, so long and hold on. And listen, should you ever happen upon some vacant-eyed little kid someday, whatever you do, don't take him home. Let's check what's next.